Isaiah 54 verse 13. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. Amen. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Today we are dedicating the blessing of God to my family. We are dedicating her to the Lord. I do not want to call this a chaotic morning, but it kind of looks like it. Because why did I decide to be shooting content in the morning? I just wanted a memory of this day and I want my big girls to be part of it. take you back a little bit okay if you have watched my uh naming ceremony vlog you know that i mentioned that this that the naming ceremony was actually like a date with god for me and if you haven't watched that please go back and watch it and this is like a similar case because in the last three months we actually had a lot of hospital visits on the minimum i think we went to the hospital twice every month and i think it's because of the big girls maybe because they were bringing lots of different things home or the weather i can't tell but for some reason when i'm not feeling fine this week by the time i'm getting on my feet the baby is getting sick the next week and it's been like that <laughs> but for like two weeks now we both have been feeling fine so yes we are back in church we are dedicating this child to God. And it still feels so unreal that I brought three kids to church today. Oh my God. Anyways, let's get to the service. <laughs> The Bible says that children are the heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is reward. And the Bible, as Pastor Esther read earlier, the parents of Jesus Christ brought the child to the temple um, for dedication. In the like manner, we do the same as Christians. When we dedicate a child to God, we are saying to God, Lord, you've given us this child. We want to leave this child in your care. We want to set the feet of this child on the solid rock, on the path to salvation and on your path. And as uh, Brother Shem and Sister Damilola does that today, uh, as a church, we celebrate with them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Like I would normally do. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when the child grows up, it will not depart from it. Uh, I'm going to ask the family today uh, to brush you and Sister Damilola. Do you promise that you will bring Ayolua home in the way of the Lord? 
a way of my gospel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And to the family, all of you, you know, family members are here. Uh, do you promise that you will support Brother Shion and Sister Davila in bringing up Ayolua in the way of the Lord? And to the whole church, the whole body of Christ, do you promise that you will support this family in bringing up Ayolua in the way of the Lord? Avon said that as the oracle of the Most High God, I accept Ayolua into the house of the Lord. Amen. And I declare, God, I declare that everything God has created, the good, the bad, the ugly, the host of heaven and the host of hell, the forces of darkness, everything that God has created will support your destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare in the hands of the Lord, you will not be a misfired arrow in the name of Jesus. Amen. The devil, the enemy, will not write the last chapter of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your parents bring you here today rejoicing. And the Bible says that the gift of the Lord maketh rich and hath no sorrow. I declare you are a gift from God. You will make rich. You will have no sorrow in the name of Amen. Jesus. The Bible talks about Jesus Christ. He said, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth that it goes around doing good. I declare in your life, you will go around, you will do good in the name of Jesus. Amen. The goodness of the Lord will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, your parents know your beginning. They will not know your hand in the name of Amen. Jesus. With their hands, they will not bury you in the name of Amen. Jesus. With their mouth, they will not mourn you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Upon you, they will reap the fruit of parenthood in the name of Amen. Jesus. You are celebrated in the house of God today. The Bible says the passion of the house of God shall fill me, shall occupy me. I declare that the passion for the house of God, the passion for the things of God, the passion for greatness shall occupy you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I dedicate you to the Lord in the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. I'm protesting that... Uh, They've been saying Brush is coming for baby dedication and they didn't include my wife's name. <laughs> uh, don't worry. It's Brush Hill and Sister Dami. <laughs> uh, before we discover we had a baby, she actually had a dream. One of those days that I had a baby. And she had gone to work when she woke up and she was like, if I ever catch you beside me, <laughs> you know. But thank God that uh, baby is here now. I do what is here now. Amen. So God answered your dream. Amen. 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 Um, we again want to give thanks to God. As um, yeah, thank God for the process of the delivery, the process of pregnancy, how it was stressful and it ended in praise. Uh, somebody was asking about my wife yesterday at the picnic. She was like, I've not been seeing my wife. I'm like, you didn't even know we had a baby? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, she has not been around all this while, but she's here. Um, few weeks to the time will be that I will be coming. The doctor came up and like, there's more risk. The nuka cord was around her neck. They don't know how it is, if it was totally surrounding the neck, or if it was just partially. So, um, his plan is that possibly we are going to start and when he sees what is going to happen, he can rush to the theater. But when the baby was going to come, eventually the no call was actually totally surrounding the neck. And as baby was coming, we were able to pull it out straight. Baby is fine. We didn't have to do emergency CS. The no call didn't uh, affect the baby. Baby is here. The day when we came for naming ceremony, we had figured, we felt the baby's eye, we felt that Yolua's eye was yellow, and apparently she had done this. But, so we went to the hospital, we called the hospital, I think we went, that's the morning, right? We went in the morning of the baby ceremony, the baby christening, and we got there. They took blood sample to do the, to check the baby ribbon. I don't know how they did it, they said they were going to do that. I don't know how they did it that the nurse didn't take the blood sample for the video to check the jaundice level. 
And so I was like, okay, let me call them again. So we went to the morning. Let me call them like in the afternoon. We're going to come for the education at seven. And let me call them around four before they close at five to see the results, to know the level of the journey so that they know what to do. It was then they told me they lost, they lost the result, the sample. <laughs> and so we are at the point to either rush to the hospital back before they close at five, or to come to baby dedication, or to be getting ready for the baby dedication. We were looking at it, eventually we resolved that we are not going. And we didn't have to go back for the jaundice again. This is our Yolua here. They didn't have to check the level of the jaundice. God cleared it. God has taken care of our hearts now. And I'm grateful that uh, she's three months now. And God has been so gracious to us. I will sing this song to appreciate God again. Um, we can't recant the things God has done for us. We can't, there's no way we can express it and match the way it is in our hearts. We can only try to, to, to just share some of the things that God has been doing with us. Um, we'll take this song and I would like that you sing it with us to appreciate God. See how far you had be So we have definitely come to the end of the service. Uh, my kids were very happy <laughs> to have mommy. Yeah, tomorrow, don't cry. No, it's working. Don't, don't cry, don't cry. Yes, but most importantly, tomorrow. we are just happy don't to cry. have so, bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Okay. Uh, okay. That being said, if you are in Texas or Houston and you don't have a church, you're going. As you can see, my church is big enough to accommodate you. So make sure you join us. If you want details, let me know in the comment section and I will send it to you right away. Okay. <laughs> and okay, yeah, we try to still create more content. You know, one of the things I've discovered about life when it comes to making memories is either you love it or you hate it. There is almost no in between. Turns out that I like making content. <laughs> And I like creating memories because I was so tired this day and I got home and I was still making content. Imagine if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in my next video.